Okay, so I want to make a quick video about that and how it works. In a third generation F body, meaning Firebird or Camaro, it also affected um, a lot of other GM cars in the late 90s and early 80s, including the Corvette. So simply put, that is the vehicles with the chip key, sometimes called the pass key one. Um, it's just a regular silver key with a little resistor on it, or chip as most people call it. So what happens is the key goes into the ignition cylinder. The VATS module sends a signal to check the resistance of the resistor in the key to verify it's the correct key. So right away you have the interaction between your VATS key and your VATS module. So once it gets to the VATS module, it either receives the value or it doesn't receive the correct value. Uh, so from there, if it receives the wrong value, this is when your security light comes on. It sets your security light and it kills the signal to your starter enable relay and then it kills the signal to the ECM to enable your fuel injectors. So in an, you know that's what happens when there's the wrong key or uh, the resistor on the key starts to go bad or something happens to the resistor on the key and for whatever reason it doesn't read correctly. So when attempting to fix this you have a few options. You can either do the old school resistor trick, as many people know it, where you test the resistance of the ignition cylinder and you wire in or solder in a, a resistor to match the resistance that was previously there. So this would allow you to either replace it with a non-chip key, replace the ignition cylinder with a non-chipped ignition cylinder, and that will temporarily disable VATS. So the problem that you'll have with that at some point, possibly. It's not a definite, but it's, you know, it is an old piece of, like, of an electronic. Uh, you know, they are going to go bad. Is you'll get the proper resistance from the key. But then what will happen is the VATS module itself will go bad, and this will no longer work. Now, the default result to that is your starter enable relay over here never gets the signal to enable the starter. And that's an easy fix because that you can, you can just jump the relay. That's not as much of a big deal. The bigger deal is the ECM never receives a signal to ground the injectors. And that's why in a situation where VATS is acting up in someone's car, the injectors will have power, but they won't have ground. And you can't just add ground to the injectors because they'll be constantly open. Your, your ECM manages the injector pulse with based on adding ground to the injector. So the alternative to that is you remove the VATS module entirely, which also isn't a fix. This, I mean, for, in an F body, this is behind the dash. It's not exactly an easy part to remove. So if you were just, just to just remove the VATS module, it does kind of open you up to a couple more opportunities. That does allow you to get rid of the chip key if for some reason that's a problem. Um, you can just jump the starter enable relay, so that's fine too and your security light shouldn't come on because it'll never receive the the output from the VATS module. Where your problem lies is in the ECM again, like I said previously, the ECM looks for the signal from the VATS module to ground the injectors. If it doesn't see that, it won't ground the injectors. So there are kits available that will replicate the signal from the VATS module, which will then fire the injectors that requires cutting in the, in the engine harness and splicing in this small module, which also works. Your other option is to get a chip burned for your ECM that will remove the requirement for the signal from the VATS module. So basically, you'll tell the ECM, fire the injectors even if you don't get an output from the VATS module first. And that's often the cheapest and most reliable option because that's not going to fail. It's a solid state piece of flash memory similar to what's in your computer. Very, very seldom does that fail. And you don't have to worry about the, the resistor going bad again. You don't have to worry about your resistors breaking that you wire or soldered into the wire going to the VATS module. You don't have to worry about the VATS module failing. The only thing you have to do is install the chip in the ECM and possibly jump your starter enable relay if it isn't already. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick rundown on how VATS works.